Good morning, students of Srinivasis Vidyalay of Standard Six. Now we are make we are in Chapter Two, Whole Numbers. This is the third part of the video. So today we will be using different properties. Last in last video we have learned different properties such as closure property, commutative property, associative property, distributive property. For addition and multiplication. So today we will be using distributive property. First, take an example: twenty-five multiplied by forty-five multiplied by five. This is the sum where you will be using associative property. So we will be writing using associative. property so first we'll arrange them so what are the numbers which can we multiply easily so example 25 instead of making 5 we'll make it here 4 so 25 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 45 So this number we can multiply easily. So that is twenty-five multiplied by four is equal to hundred. Hundred multiplied by forty-five is equal to four thousand five hundred. So this is using associative property. Now take one more example. For distributive property, we take an example. Solve this using distributive property. Which number is easy to split? So you can use any number here to split. For example, I will take as two zero three zero multiplied by six hundred plus one. Now you write using distributive. property now using distributive property 2030 multiply by 600 plus 2030 multiply by 1 so this number we are going to multiply with both the numbers so here 000 so 3 zeros Six three is eighteen. Six two is twelve. Plus two zero three zero because multiplied by one. Now add. When you are adding zero 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 three zero three zero 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 two plus eighteen is twenty. Twelve. It is as it is. So when you multiply this number with this directly, you get the answer. Now using different properties. Now we are using distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. So we will be using here distributive property. Now how to use distributive? Now you can see this four two five nine here as well as here four two five nine. So now we'll be taking that thing common. So we'll be writing using distributive property. 
Now, four two five nine, four two five nine is common. So four two five nine multiplied by remaining numbers are ninety two plus eight. So here four two five nine multiplied by ninety two plus eight hundred. Now hundred multiplied by four two five nine. Four two five nine zero zero. So this is the answer for the first one. Next one, if I give you this. Five three eight six multiplied by one hundred eighty eight multiplied by eighty eight into five three eight six. So again, using. distributive property of multiplication over subtraction so now you can see this 5386 here same 5386 5386 multiply by we remove it common so we write in the bracket One hundred eighty-eight multiplied minus eighty-eight. Now, when you subtract this, you get the answer as hundred. So you write five three eight six multiplied by hundred. So the answer will be five three eight six zero zero. So in this way, you can use distributive property. Name the property used. Here is the what are the property used in the following problems you have to check. Now first property bracket multiply two numbers. There are three numbers and a bracket. So always there is a associative property. For multiplication, you have to write associative property for multiplication whole. So here, two numbers are there. Two numbers are always commutative property. Commutative property for multiplication. Now here there is a minus sign. Over here also there is a minus. So if you see, nineteen is taken common now. So this is distributive property for multiplication over subtraction. So your distributive property for multiplication over subtraction. Now zero. Whenever a number is multiplied by zero, so you can write multiplicative property of Zero. Multiplicative property of zero. Here one is multiplied to number means the same answer. So you can write multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity. Now zero is added to any number, so you can write additive identity. Now here two numbers are added; they are reversed and added. So here the property is commutative property.
for addition. Next here, if you see properly, these two numbers, the bracket is changed. So here the property will be is associative property for addition. So that will be for. Now we have certain filling the blanks. How many whole numbers are there up to hundred? How many natural numbers are there up to hundred? Now whole numbers and natural numbers. First we'll answer this natural number. You know natural number starts from what? So one to hundred. How many numbers? There are hundred numbers. Now how many whole numbers are there up to hundred? So whole number starts from 0. 0 to 100. So there are 1, 0, 1 whole numbers from up to 100. Now smallest natural number is. So natural number starts from 1. Obviously 1 is the smallest natural number. Smallest whole number is 0. Now here is answer for this. 0 is the smallest whole number. Now here you will get a home assignment in form of a PDF. Here is your home assignment. NCRT Max textbook of class 6. Refer page number 40 exercise 2.2 <laughs> question number 145. In first question there are two problems, in fourth question there are four problems, in fifth that is one. So totally there are seven sums in all. This is your home assignment, exercise 2.2, first question, third question and fourth question and fifth question, one, four and five. So these three questions you will be doing in your homework.